Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ready Move Set Go, episode six. As always, I am your host, John, at Room One Hundred, and joining me once again today we have PK King Five Four Four. Hello, Pizza Dude Man Guy. Hi, and Nantenjex. Hello. <laughs> What's up? The crew's back again. Yay, reunited. <laughs> Remember that funny joke I said back at the beginning of the year that these would come out a lot quicker? That was, that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always gonna, you, you say something and then you like divide it by four. Here we go. It by four. I'll, I'll, every month, actually, we'll make it every three months. Every four months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who it's your first mm-hmm. time watching, this is a Smash move set discussion series where we basically pick a theme and all create move sets under a certain rule or guideline and discuss them here we have done a uh, unova pokemon trainer a chef a sports character a spear character and our last episode with delzathin was a magic user and this time around we are going off of the theme of mechs and we did not discuss the rules a whole lot i had to do some googling to make sure the characters i was considering fit the description of mech um which were uh, I'll, I'll generally define as a large robot that is being piloted for fighting (laughs) so all right (laughs) um Mm -hmm. so without wasting too much time the order for this episode is going to be nantan first since this was his idea for a theme then we're going to pk me and pizza dude so nantan you ready to go yep i'm ready i'm ready and uh one of the reasons i wanted to do mech when you uh, showed us the list of stuff is that there's one mech character that uh, I've always wanted to see getting something like, oh, I say always, but uh, they've only been around over the last decade, <laughs> basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I wanted them for um, Smash Ultimate. Like, um, unfortunately, didn't get in, of course. But um, back before we knew everyone was here, uh, she was actually uh, somewhat high on my uh, wish list. And even though I know it's a character who, if they got in, would probably get in over another character that a lot of fans want. And that's because it's a Kirby character. Oh. So I've, I think personally that Planet Robobot is possibly like the best Kirby game in years. Mm. Like it's possibly one of the the pinnacle. It and Superstar Ultra are like the pinnacle of the 2D platformers uh, from Kirby. And it introduced obviously the mech, the Robobot, and its own character, Susie who is the daughter of the Haltman Company CEO and is the recurring character from that game, kind of like Taranza and Magalore. Mm. She's shown up in basically every game since uh, Planet Robobot. She's in the... Um, she's a playable character in Star Allies. She shows up in that... Uh, both both the Kirby Clash games, the 3DS one and the Switch one. Uh, and she just, she's, like, she's got recurring appearances, so she's a uh, somewhat secondary character in it but i just thought that the robobot was a really cool idea and i don't think they would do kirby in the robobot for the simple fact that kirby's already playable but susie has (laughs) her own robobot and so having she could easily fill in that role have a new character represent all of that and it also fit the girl in a mech archetype that seems to be in like a ton of fighting games (laughs) like arms has it and i'm pretty sure one of the arc system games it might be guilty gear also has it and marvel vs. capcom has it with trombone like it just seems to be an archetype that fighting games tend to have that smash lacks yeah <laughs> and i thought this would fill it up yeah so susie has her own robot like i said which is used in boss battles but um i feel like because she's representing robobot as a whole and all the robobots are sort of based from the same original idea that she would borrow a lot of the moves that Kirby's Robobot can use, which are obviously all taken from his own special abilities. So the neutral special one is the beam, which uh, gives the, the robot armor the ability to fire like this la- large bouncing energy ball that you can charge up, and the bigger it's charged up, the, the more it's charged up, the bigger it gets. Then on the side special would be like a homing drone, where she fires two drones from her mech that just lock onto the nearest target and both of them hone in on it. They both hone in on the same target, so you have to dodge like two missiles. (laughs) However, um, 
you can like you can only have the two out only two out at once so while those missiles are going you can't use any others and you don't necessarily have to fire them both off at the same time but i mean you can do to make it more difficult it's up to you then there's the up up special which is just the parasol from like the shoulders of the robobots uh two helicopter blades basically come out like shaped like the parasol from the kirby games and spin around and it just lifts the robobot up into the air and damages any opponents above it so it's not as good as like rob's one but it's a pretty decent recovery and then the down special is bomb which is very similar to the um bowser jr's down special where they drop a little bomb that can walk around and will blow up so, but um while hers aren't as strong as the mecha coopers and they don't uh, grab onto opponents like the mecha coopers one do does she can shoot out multiple of them um two or three times depending on balancing <laughs> mm. uh, and yeah, stuff. yeah and then for the final smash uh, i wanted to pierce the heavens and go for the robo drill which is taken <laughs> from the kirby's ultimate robobot attack uh susie takes both of her arms which are already kind of pointy anyway and puts them together to make the giant drill and then fires that off in the direction she's facing. It's kind of like the drill item that's already in Smash, mm -hmm. just much bigger and much more damaging. <laughs> then, then a lot of our other, or a lot of our other standard special Smash attacks and all that are based on the other abilities that both her Robobot has and the Kirby one. Like the up smash would be the giant blades from Robobots. The down smash can use the psychic stuff. The forward smash can be a special one where it uses the saw blade arms, where like. She, it sticks to the ground for a bit longer and it like drills like a not drills uh, like a chainsaw it just buzzes around like there, there, there's all sorts of robobot abilities to take from and uh, it should obviously be a heavy character mm -hmm. um, a slower heavy character but about size wise i imagine she would be slightly bigger than king ddd because of that but um, I don't know if that would make it. I actually don't know what the heights are off the top of my head, so I don't know <laughs> if she would end up being the biggest character or not, but that's what I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like all the mech characters are going to be fairly big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely... I'm, I'm very curious to see how everyone handles that, because that was my big um, interest uh, going into this episode. Yeah, well, I feel like the robots, you can sort of scale them next to the Kirby characters because they already exist. Yeah. Within the Kirbyverse, like, they're, I, they're pretty sure they're, like, Two curb, two and a half Kirby's high, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> that's a new measurement. But yeah, system. that's that's that, that, that's how I imagine it would go. And I know it, it's not like everyone's first Kirby character. I know Magalore and Bandana Waddle Dee are obviously more popular. Well, sure, but, but this fits the theme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, fits the, this fits the theme, and I, I personally feel like it would be a better choice for a Kirby character than those two. It would be more unique. Mm -hmm. That's my hot take. In terms of like move set. Yeah, yeah, in terms of a moveset, and just also being a bigger surprise, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. more relevant as well. I guess, but not with Star Allies, they're all about the same, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah. What, what is nice about this is, like you said, it's, it's scalable already, kind of, in this universe, um, which is really nice, and also, which is also why um, this was basically my second pick. Uh, for a move set, and <laughs> so I, I I pulled it up uh, while you're going through. Three of the four specials are exactly the same size. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, Which I, one was your different? I, had, one? I love that. So I had the neutral special beam. Um, I had mm -hmm. um, up B parasol, which. Uh, in my mind is basically just K rule. Yeah, it is kind of like actually now it is like K rules, but I think it does damage in the original, so I kept it like that. But okay. you're right, actually now you're right. K rule basically has the exact same thing. Yeah, and <laughs> I think scaling wise, it wouldn't be too far off from K rule either. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, down B is bomb because literally it's just the Mecha Koopa, like you said. Um, <laughs> so my only difference was the side B where I had cutter mode. Um, and the buzz saws would basically just like do a quick boomerang like out in front and then come back. Um, okay. But, but come to think of it, um, I actually kind of like that as an F tilt more. Um, I feel like that could be kind of fun because um, mm -hmm. my current F tilt is a spark mode, just shooting like real small like plasma bolts or something. Yeah. I considered the plasma one for the standard special. I went for the homing drone for side special because I wanted to have actually one of Susie's own attacks being, yeah. right. <laughs> being represented because these are all actually moves that Kirby has and yeah. not her. <laughs> well, see, and that's the other thing because I I have not played um, Robobot 
but man did I struggle with this theme. Um, so I was just like, <laughs> yeah. I, I was trying to find a bunch of different stuff. So mm. um, Robobot came up on my radar, and I was like, oh, I could just be Robobot Kirby. There's three Links and three Mario's, and this will actually be different. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah, I, I I went with that, and just like you said, to pull from all the different modes. Um, the ESP I had is up smash instead of down smash, like you said. But either way, it, it was it was funny to see how how similar it was and i i feel like we've said before <laughs> that this kind of usually happens with kirby characters because they're already kind of have a really easy Im- imaginable move set yeah. they're basically right. designed for smash yeah. already in their own i wonder games. why <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah that's i was close. gonna say uh actually kirby is is not really a, an area of expertise for me but i've always liked these kind of move sets where you know, you do have a character that has such a wide array of abilities, you can make different characters out of them. Like how mm-hmm. Zelda in Smash Brothers just uses the magic that Link uses in Ocarina of Time, but they make it its own character through Zelda, you know? Mm. So it kind of reminds yeah. me of that. Uh, actually, uh, it kind of reminds me, uh, the day we're recording this is the day of the uh, Nintendo Partners presentation, and I was, I was fascinated by the choice in the cadence dlc there to make skull kid like use the the, what what people have used is like in the past in speculation for like a masks link ability and it kind of reminded me of that Mm -hmm. um i did want to bring up you said that you know oh you know with smash a fighting game archetype we don't have as mech fighters and i remember saying that on a video once and i got several angry comments about <laughs> forgetting about bowser junior and i'm like oh oh yeah right. i guess uh, <laughs> I forget about bowser junior as well is that uh, but, okay but here's the question is that a mech or is it just a car that's the question i mean question. i feel like a car is difference? a mech it has a, it has a face it's it has weapons. mechanical what kind of car I mean, do you drive look like that <laughs> he has a face. It has I, I think there needs to be some kind of not wheel or tread transportation. I think it needs to walk in some way. That's that's it my flies. Well, well, does uh, fly and hover. Oh, it does fly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I think Bowser Jr. might be bored. It's like a borderline one. I feel yeah. like it's borderline. Mech. I, I think it's because it's always referred to as the Koopa Clown car. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah I guess. And not like yeah. a robot. Is that or a, a is mech. that its Japanese name too? I've always wondered. Uh, uh, I'll have a look very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, someone, if, point, I mean, if we want to move on, and I'll, I'll confirm this in the interim. <laughs> sure, yeah. A- any other final comments on, on Robobot? I guess Susie would be the technical character. Um, yeah, definitely really slow. Um, and this, again, like I said, the scaling probably would wind up being like the widest character, but maybe I don't know about the tallest necessarily. And, and very, very heavy. <laughs> I actually found out what it is. It's a Koopa Kuran, which is a about just Bowser clown, basically. <laughs> okay. Oh. Nothing about a car. Nothing about a car. No, Nothing it's about a car. Bow- it's called mm-hmm. the so that's just clown, an American thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's our fault. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and in, 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 in other languages, it's it's sometimes called the Koopa Copter or the Koopa Mobile or something like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, that makes sense. Well, you're up, PK. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, um. <laughs> So mine is a little bit out of the, and by a little bit, I mean a lot, out of the Nintendo (laughs) realm. So hear me out. But again, I was also finding struggle with mech fighters. Um, But um, my boyfriend has been talking about this game like crazy, and I decided to actually listen to him and be like, okay, tell me about it. (laughs) And it's Titanfall. Um, Uh He's been obsessed with Titanfall. So I'm like, okay, tell me about it. And he just told me everything, and I have crazy notes. Um, But I organized it, so don't worry. Um, (laughs) All right. Basically... (laughs) So I guess, okay, everything I say is through him. So if I say anything wrong in the comments, don't get mad at me. Don't yell at me. All right. <laughs> go find him. Yell <laughs> yeah, at him. Yeah, drop his um, ad and then we'll flame him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, so the main characters are Cooper and BT. BT's the robot. Cooper is the driver guy. Mm. And the way I kind of made the move set is basically Bowser Jr. with a gun. Like, that's the general theme. He's gonna... (laughs) (laughs) He'll be in the mech most of the time, if not all the time. Um, But, like, I'm thinking for some moves, like, his tilt, he can kind of open the door and have the door, like, hit people or poke out with, like, a (laughs) dagger or something and slice real quick. But for the most part, he's in the mech. Um, 
He also has, like, at one part in the game, he gets a sword, I guess. You can use that for smash attacks like Ganondorf, because that is apparently pretty iconic and in a lot of the marketing. Um, but for most of the other moves, it would be, like, short to mid-range, like, shots and explosions. Like, um... I don't know exactly how to describe this, but like let's say like his forward air, it'd be like a couple shots forward, maybe like me gunner, something like that. Just little shots like that for most of his moves. Um, but then it gets to like his gimmicky stuff and his special stuff that I like. Um, so for his gimmick, uh, this might be controversial, but it's called it's called phase shift. Basically, for all of his dashes or rolls or air dodges, anything like that, if you hold it, you can go a little further and you do damage if someone goes in your path of air dodge. If that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, it only does okay. a little damage. Like that's not going to be a kill move, but it's enough to like like guarantee your safety a little bit. And that's just because in the game, like that that's one of the main things in the story. One of the first things in the story. Again, I don't know, but he like goes um like invisible, and when he reappears, if you were where he was while he was invisible, then you take damage. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I kind of just snuck that in there. But if I'm actually talking about his actual specials, his up B, he takes out the pilot and just throws him because <laughs> i just think that's hilarious and apparently that happens in the story a lot too so yeah he just kind of throws him and i'm thinking it'd be like bowser jr's but more horizontal just to make it a little more different um and i don't know if he would explode afterwards or whatnot but i'll get into that later um his neutral b is a, like rockets that can lock on to people like you have to press it first to like lock onto somebody and press it again to shoot or something like that or maybe it could be simple like um samus's homing missiles hmm. something like that but shoot rockets his side b is vortex shield which is basically gammon watch game and watch's bucket but with any projectile and when you shoot it back out it's that exact projectile so i guess kind of like villager pocket if that makes sense yeah um yeah and then his down b is interesting uh, when it's not charged, it's uh, sm electric smoke. He like drops down like a smoke, and it's electric. And if you go in it, you get hurt. Piranha plant side B. It's that. Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if it's charged up, um, and by charged up, I mean like there would be some sort of meter that you have to build up. It would be these like electric bullets that he could use. Uh, it's like a more of like a burst fire like you press down b once and it just shoots it and you can angle it a little bit but you can't really move or anything or you can't like stop it and then do it again but it's just like a burst of electric bullets that you can shoot out when it's fully charged and then when it's not charged it's just the cloud again and then his final smash would be this nuclear explosion where he again like ejects out of the seat and then the robot blows up really big and then it's like ah and then that's it <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah oh, um yeah. i mean when it comes to specifics like obviously it's really big but the main way they move is like with jetpack thingies so like they have legs but they move with like jetpacks and they don't even like jump in the game so i'm thinking it would be it might be like kind of floaty with the jetpack kind of movements but i don't know obviously you have like big equals heavy but yeah yeah that's that's what i was gonna ask you is how how big is is the mech um yeah <laughs> well big like like really big and i was like <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking like maybe i can get like a cute chibi version you know like i don't know we we could work it out like they scale down ridley they could scale down the mech like <laughs> we'll figure it out there we go yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean it's they, certainly something they can figure out i think my thing with it is we could build it smaller <laughs> <laughs> see i think my thing is they could they could size it down like ridley but the guy inside like it'd be really it'd strange be, to exactly, scale him yeah. down. Like I feel like he <laughs> should be snake's height and be, be tiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Made, like it's something they could do. They could scale down the mech, but I almost feel because of that, any of the moves like where they throw him out just kind mm -hmm. of would look yeah. really strange. <laughs> I mean, it might work for the final smash if it's like a cutscene final smash and he gets thrown mm -hmm. out in there. But if it's like the up special, you'd have this really tiny yeah. guy, like smaller than Little Mac, just being lobbed up. Yeah, upwards. yeah, that's some. I, I um, I did when I did uh, move sets for Overwatch. That was something I I was trying to figure out with Diva as well. Um, mm. and and same thing. Like luckily, with with Diva, her mech is still at a size where she would like be biggest but her inside wouldn't look she wouldn't be like half of mario size or something if she was in smash yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. but but yeah that's definitely 
a trickier thing. And it's also hard because if you scale it down but keep the human inside the same size, you start to veer into like power suit, power armor territory, mm -hmm. which is uh, like that's a whole yeah. other thing. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, yeah. either I I love the electric cloud because I I played this I played Titanfall to a while ago because it was like free on Xbox for a while or something. And I really enjoyed okay. it, and so I, I considered it for this, but I, I I couldn't figure out like the scaling was the main thing. Yeah. But I, th I think it's a great it's a great idea for moves that anyway. Yeah. Seems like his legs are the longest things about him. If maybe the legs could be smaller, then that would be easier. But at the same time, like I feel like part of the character is being that giant mech thing. Yeah. So finding that balance to not like take away from his character, that's difficult. But I mean the move set, <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and I like um, the idea of like the the targeting is something that I didn't go with in my final character choice, but I did for um, it's something else that all when we talk about the other options I'll mention. Um, an idea I like for that is like you hit B, and then maybe it even does bring up like a targeting system, and you can kind of just like flick the stick to choose like who you would be targeting if there's more than one oh. person in the game. I, I, I like that as an idea because it is a little different than the um than just like homing like to whoever's closest or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What was the robot again? I know the guy's Cooper. What was the robot's name? Um BT. BT. Okay. Sweet. BT seven two seven four, I think. Okay, well it's a specific thanks. one. I, I, I only have it because I've I've got it up here so I could have a look at oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right. So, yeah. uh, I'm not actually I've got time for two, I just haven't actually played it, but I've heard very good things. Oh about I haven't it. played it at all. So. <laughs> uh, well yeah. I guess we will move along. Um mm -hmm. so um as I said, my second choice was Kirby. Uh was Robobot Kirby. Luckily I didn't I haven't played that game and luckily I don't have to do that one. Um when, <laughs> Like I said, I, I had a, a lot of trouble because all the characters, it was either like games I was kind of aware of or it was games that I didn't really know. And either way, the scaling was always a problem. Um, so that mm. was I, I, I was trying to figure out how to work that in. And uh, very similar to you, PK, my girlfriend actually helped um, helped <laughs> me decide on my character uh, with a game that we have played through twice now, which is Cuphead. And so my move set is for Dr. Cal or Dr. Cal's robot. Okay. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> so so with this I was trying not only to, you know, make a move set for him, but also figure out the whole concept of like a mech. Um, and I think I have something that works okay. So Okay. The, you, the usual appearance for Dr. Cal, which is also weird. I was looking up. Apparently, Dr. Cal's robot is who the actual soul contract is for, not Dr. Cal. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Which is oh, which is this whole other weird <laughs> yeah. thing. But I'm counting. I'll be counting them as one character. Um, so so Dr. Cal, his normal appearance would be kind of similar to Bowser Jr., except floating a little bit. He would be in the head of the robot. Um, that you see in his th third phase, uh, very similar to like Eggman um, or Dr. Wily. So he he would be in that form, uh, kind I guess feel pretty similar to Bowser Jr. Um, the gimmick is to actually make this like a mech move set. Like Joker, he has a meter. And when that meter gets filled up, instead of having uh, our send pop out, the head flies up into the air and closes him in so he's no longer just like sitting there in the car and the robot body builds under it okay. oh. and now you're playing as as like this two platform tall giant robot huh. oh. <laughs> so okay uh to make it easier um obviously the stats would change during this part but most of the moves will stay the same especially the specials they will be exactly the same so just to kind of go through his moves in the game because there's not that many uh anything i don't mention like some of the tilts and aerials it would in in the uh in the floating head it would probably just be like new embellishments to his moveset with like little things popping out of the mouth of the car uh with for like arms or drills or something like that and in the giant robot mode uh, would be more punches and kicks because now he has like limbs but to to go through uh and just kind of put everything from that boss battle into the move set up air would be it'd be kind of be like a reverse of rosalina's down b where it's kind of just like that thing that pushes down 
except it um, pushes up the electrified wall that shows up in phase three. Um, uh-huh. His grab his grab would use the magnet, which would be similar to Pac-Man's grab, and the dash would the dash in either form. Well, I guess the dash would have to change in the giant robot form, but in the head version. Um, it would be like phase two where the head is just flying back and forth horizontally. Um, so it would just kind Not of fly yet. and drill forward. Um, F smash on either of them would have two robotic arms twist far out in front of him. Um, not exactly min min range, but a pretty far reaching smash attack. Hmm. Um, up smash would be the, uh, little droid i guess that comes out in phase one that shoots a laser vertically so i guess it would kind of be like palutena's up smash um and that would come out um either from the mouth of the 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 head the flying head or from his abdomen like he is when he's in the full robot down smash he would take out a diamond and a bunch of little projectile like energy projectiles would come out in a circle all around him and then for the specials uh, neutral B would be the head laser that he has in the first phase. Uh, you would basically hold it and direct a little laser around in front of you, and then when you release it, it would be a much bigger actual blast. Side B would be like side B would be like Samus's. So if you uh, smash it, it would be the tiny little U-shaped bots, and it would just kind of fly out in front, do a little bit of damage. Um, if you tilt it, then it would be the homing bomb. Up B doesn't. Up B is the only move that I I didn't pull right from his boss fight, which is I called it lift off. It's basically just Rob's move, and it would obviously be a little bit different and not as helpful in giant robot form. That would probably more so just like lift you up very slowly instead of actually like carry you across the stage. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then down B is uh, a wave of nuts and bolts that you shoot out in a forward arc in front of you. And for Final Smash, uh, I called it Debtor's Demolition, which is just like a cut scene with a, with a bunch of uh, Cuphead bosses, basically. Ah. Okay. So, yeah, I guess now that all the moves are in place, like I s- said, normally uh, when you're not in the robot, it would feel like Bowser Jr. When you are in the robot, I guess it would basically feel like you were giant and had the metal effect on you. You would not have <laughs> a high jump at all. You would not move very fast, but you you trade that off for being stronger and being a lot harder to knock around. Mm-hmm. So I guess the balance I, I guess to balance that, um, I guess it would be a really extreme version of Joker in a way. Like when mm. you're <laughs> when you're just being Doctor Cal in the flying head. I assume it would That's be. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> extreme Joker. <laughs> yeah, I, I I assume it would be like pretty easy to. Uh, to kill you if you're not careful, if you're just the doc in the flying head. But then you 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 really need to take advantage of your time in the robot to like catch up on percent. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, a bunch you know a bunch of alts based on the other bosses, and so that that's my move set, and that's how I decided to make a mech move set because I figured you shouldn't be giant the entire time, but if you're not giant at all, then it's kind of weird to call it a mech move set. That's <laughs> yeah, true. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, the one thing I was trying to think is like, how big does he get <laughs> when he grows yeah. like that big? <laughs> My scaling was, if we're talking like Battlefield, I think he would be like his head would be a little bit under the top platform. Okay. So he's okay. he's big. It, it's it, it's like a boss fight in a way, which is another yeah. thing I was considering. Like there there's no character that really feels like that. And I, 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 right. I, but obviously they can't be like that the entire time. It just would be weird and like stock wouldn't work at all. Um, so I figured that having it as like just a phase would maybe be the best way to, to handle that. Mm-hmm. It has a lot of concepts that uh, I really like and that I've always wanted to see. Like I, I've had a couple ideas in the past that like are of basically like an evolving character that gets stronger as they fight. Or like you said, you have something that's like really feels like a boss. Those mm-hmm. are really great concepts, I think. Uh, one thing that I think might help it is, um, you know, like you were saying, as you're building up the robot, you get different types of weaknesses. Oh, you're heavy, you're hard to jump, uh, which makes sense in exchange for the power you have. But then what might be nice, and maybe I just missed this, uh, what might be nice is if there was an option to then manually break yourself down in case you still want to be a lighter, more normal character. Mm. 
like even though it's not part of the regular thing in Cuphead, if like maybe the nuts and bolts special also like dismantled your own robot so that you could go back to normal at your whim. Uh. That that would be a that would be a really good way to do it. Another way that I think would actually kind of balance out this problem area is up B when you're in the head is actually like Rob's up B, but up B when you're the robot is like an eject and destroy button, and then mm, you go back okay. to it. Uh, that that might work too. Yeah, because because then it makes a lot That's more good sense for like recovery too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you, if you get pushed off. You're yeah, like if, if you somehow you. get like if you somehow get pushed <laughs> off, then the fight with the robot's over. You got to go back to the, yeah. the smaller mode. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. If, if, you, if the robot gets pushed off, do you die with it? So like, or I, I like, think so. I, I, yeah. I think I think so. Um, especially if we are going with the eject thing, which is like a way easier um, escape option than like hoping you can hover up. I I, I yeah. think I, I think at that point. Like, yeah, you and your robot are, like, the same character. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I think that makes sense. And you choose up B to sort of eject yourself or <laughs> something like that. Uh, I think I think that would work. Because, yeah, that that's one thing I... That's, that, that, the, the size and the balancing for that is one thing I think of. But I think it... You're right, because it would be about boss size, I reckon. But, yeah, yeah I think you're right if, in the balancing is... If your aerial game just goes super low down and your speed also decreases, but in exchange you've got a lot of power and... Um, you're an easier target, but you don't ha get as much knockback. Yeah. It sort of pays itself off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. That, that was my whole point. And especially if we are saying that um, your real only aerial option is get out when you're in the robot. Mm -hmm. I think that, that makes a lot of sense. Because it, um, it also rewards the person fighting against you. Because if they've used your boss phase to tack on a ton of damage and they knock you off the stage then the thing coming up at you, the the guy in the car, is going to be way easy to kill. Mm -hmm. So okay. I, th I, I think that would be how that kind of balances out. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that, that yeah, was, that I was love my that. choice. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and, and it's weird, uh, like, I, I think we, in a similar vein of talking about, like, Undyne and Undertale, because obviously those two series now have their most popular character as me costumes. Mm -hmm. um, it would be bizarre for this to, like, ever be a real thing. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the choices we've had today are kind of like, <laughs> would this really be what they go for? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, it's it, it's a fun one. And most importantly, it fit the theme and I knew the game. And that's all I can right. ask for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So pizza time. Wrap us up. Yeah. So um, uh, I elected to go later or last because, uh, you know, I was worried that it's like, oh, man, what if someone picks the same character as me? So I, I prepared three move sets. None of them got picked. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, okay, I feel like we can't do a mech episode without talking about Doctor Eggman. So I yes. mean, that's one of the yes. ones I prepare. Yeah. Um, you know, it'd be it'd be cooking it'd be the cooking episode without cooking Mama all over. Yeah, again. yeah. <laughs> all right. So here's what I got for Doctor Eggman. I've done you know some Sonic move sets in the past, and always what I start with because it's what Sonic does is I start with Sonic the Fighters as a base. In that game, mm -hmm. you know, Eggman is in, you know, his own kind of little walker mech, you know, very small. It's barely bigger than he is with some uh, hands. And that's what I started with as a base. But what I thought would be better is if I took some influences with that, but really had Eggman just in the standard egg mobile uh, the whole mm -hmm. time. So it is, a, you know, very you know, aesthetically a lot like Bowser Jr. You're just kind of in this hovering, smaller machine the whole time. But like the normal moves then pull out like um, the claws for the basic attacks that you'd see in Sonic the Fighters and, you know, maybe use some of those moves, uh, grabs and throws as well. Because then what I thought, you know, would just be too good to pass up is to have so many of the normal moves be made up of different attacks from different mechs that Eggman has used in classic Sonic games. Because, like, when when you're looking at, like, especially Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, most of the boss fights are just Eggman in a new mech or Eggman in his yep. mech with a different attack. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I just thought that would be so much fun to have. Uh, you could have um, I, I, I just a few I, I, I kind of sketched out were like, oh, you know, his forward aerial could be uh, a mechanized hammer attack. His back aerial could be the uh, the wrecking ball from his very first appearance. The dash attack could be the drill rush from the the beginning of, of, of Sonic 2. Um, his down aerial could be a burst of flame. 
uh, which I think was one of the mix from Sonic 1. Uh, getting them kind of mixed up between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. But yeah, there's just, yeah, you can basically just take every single mech and assign it to a different attack. And I, I think it would, it would turn out to be a really, really colorful move set. Yeah. As for the special moves, I had like a couple ideas and they wound up making a bit of a theme. And so I just decided to stick with it. Okay. Um, <laughs> for the neutral special, uh, I knew for sure that I wanted to use the lock-on missile from Sonic Adventure 2. I mean, that was Eggman's first playable appearance, and I just felt like you had to have that. So the mech emits a laser, um, it goes out a very long distance, and if the laser touches someone, the laser itself is not harmless, but if the laser in a straight line touches an opponent, um, uh, then a cursor appears on them. And if someone is highlighted and you release the B button, a homing projectile goes towards them. So you, you're not able to shoot the attack at all if someone is not in front of in a straight line in front of you. But if someone is, suddenly you're targeting them with a here slower moving than an actual Sonic Adventure 2, uh, a slow moving homing projectile. Uh, and it doesn't have infinite range. It doesn't have infinite time. It'll fizzle out over time. You can run away from it. Um, but you're still able to get automatically homing shots in on opponents with, with Eggman's neutral special here. For the side special, uh, I went with an egg bomb special, a uh, couple mechs shoot bombs. Uh, a lot of it was influenced from the uh, uh, Death Egg robot battle from the beginning of Sonic Mania. Um, the way it works here is if you just tap side B, uh, Eggman will shoot three... Eggman styled bombs right in front of his mech and it's just this kind of triple combo explosion like kind of like doing a basic neutral combo just boom 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 three really quick weak explosions mm. uh, but if you hold the B button while you are uh, using the move uh, instead you can spread the cursors on the ground in front of you up to a certain range and so one bomb will always be a little bit in front of you, one's a little further out, and then you can send the third bomb way far out. So you're always shooting three bombs. You're just changing the range on how far you're sending out each one. Mm -hmm. The down special is uh, based on another attack from the Death Egg Robot, um, which I don't think has an official name. I was just calling it the Egg Crusher, where he'll like fly up and stomp down on you. So the way it works here is if you're just using it on the ground, it's something of a clone of the uh, Bowser bomb. Uh, Eggman will just jump up, grow mechanized legs out of his mech, and then stomp down. <laughs> and if you just tap it in the air, he'll just go straight down and stomp mm -hmm. on the ground. Uh, and it's weaker than than Bowser's Bowser bomb and doesn't do like a, a lead in attack when you're using it on the ground. However, if you're using it in the air, if instead of tapping down B, if you hold down the B button, it'll open up kind of a, an invisible range field like uh, Palutena's neutral B, and it will lock on to an opponent and the cursor will appear on them. Then if you release the B button, Eggman will specifically fly towards that opponent and stomp Ooh. on them. So it's a targeting <laughs> okay. down aerial, basically. That's nice. scary. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the up B is just based on the jet engine slash hover from Sonic Adventure 2. Um, the way I, I decided to work it here is very similar to Rob's. You kind of get this limited uh, ascension time. Uh, mm -hmm. The difference is you get less ascension time than you do with Rob, but then you're able to still continuously use the up B, but instead of ascending, now you're descending and floating. So oh, you can ascend with the up okay. B, do attacks, and then continue to use the up B, but you won't ascend anymore. You'll just hover slowly downward. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a, a horizontal <laughs> movement in the air as you... Hmm hopefully horizontally recover back to the stage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then the final smash is just the straight up uh, Death Egg robot itself. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of pieces yeah. fly onto the mech. It becomes the full-fledged uh, Death Egg robot. Uh, and I thought it'd be fun here. I know final smashes now are blast attacks. I thought it'd be fun if this one was a little more interactive. Yeah. So just by using the final smash, you become the Death Egg robot, and then Eggman will just kind of start walking back and forth and jumping around 
and that hurts people on its own. Mm -hmm. But while he's doing those preset motions, if you press the A button, you can extend out the claws of the robot and use the joystick to aim them. And by pressing the B button, you'll shoot bombs. So you kind of get to play around with how okay, the Final yeah. Smash works while the Final Smash is in motion. Okay, yeah. That, that's a really cool way to do that, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, that's that's my Eggman moveset. Yeah. yeah. I, I was going to... It's, it's a shame... Like you said, it's a shame that we don't have those Giga Bowser style alts anymore I from love Smashes those because so much. Be, because it's like yeah, it, I mean it's nice because it's it's sped up the game to not have them, but it would have worked so good for these mech move sets. I guess especially um I I, I guess really any of ours like it, it would have been nice to have that like ultimate just massive robot to like. Mess I mean around I think with. a good alternative to that is to either have it appear in the background like Bowser's mm -hmm. yeah where it like punches forward. Or appear in the foreground like, um, like snakes, snake. you know, where yeah. it becomes a lock on you, or just on the side and like, you know, it appears somewhere off screen and fires a laser or does a big punch, something like that. Yeah, in my Robobot, because the final was the halberd mode, I think I was going to do the one where it overlays the screen. Like, you would see Kirby transform into the halberd, and then you would just, like, use a targeting system. <laughs> but yeah. if you do that on the halberd, what happens to the stage? <laughs> <laughs> just takes away uh, the stage and everyone falls. Yeah. There you go. Instant yeah. KO for everyone else. <laughs> no, I'm glad someone did Dr. Eggman. I've actually done a Dr. Eggman moveset myself ages oh. ago, and it's really fun how... Um, different both of them are because i think mm. apart from the egg robo i think we had completely different move sets nice that's awesome like, well, there's so much you can do with eggman so yeah there is. Cool. i think mine was very heavily classic bias okay like i was just flicking through it and i was uh, while you were talking i was like yeah i don't think i have anything from sonic adventure 2 mm -hmm. <laughs> i think it's because i was so fixated on oh he would float uh, that like it's the classic Sonics is always the one where it's him floating. He's always using the Eggmobile, so I had like each move sort of is taken from a different boss fight. Like his neutral special right. was like the lava spitter, I think from Sonic Two, where he, like a gun appears above his head and he shoots like lava at it and it just stays six on the level. I had the drill from Sonic the Hedgehog Two, yeah, as his side special. His up special I had where he gets them like balls that float around him. And like he sort oh, of can okay, just float yeah. up a bit, but those balls protect him and do damage. And then the down B is kind of like Pac-Man's, and he just drops a spike ball instead <laughs> of dropping a fire hydrant. So like if you do it higher up in the air, it'll do more. The further it falls, the more damage it will do. Mm -hmm. And it'll, so like it was like that. That was my Eggman move set from eons ago. <laughs> nice, yeah. But yeah, Egg Eggman would be cool. I think I, I feel like Eggman's of all the characters we mentioned has the highest chance. Yeah, oh yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah Egg Eggman <laughs> would be a fantastic choice. I, I would love Eggman in, in the game. Yeah, um, <laughs> it'd just be very unique. Um, I, I love that you had your your own version of like the the lock on system type thing because mm -hmm. I think those those kind of reticles are like so important to to mech. And like yeah, robot I games. think like every single mm -hmm. we all had some kind of auto lock on thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I, 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 you using that aesthetically, like if you're gonna make the mech character, I think is like really yeah. important. I also think mm -hmm. that's just kind of like a Sonic thing too, like that kind of homing type. That's true. Yeah. Like usually yeah, Sonic true. is the <laughs> missile, but I felt like it, it was at home here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, like how we keep kind of every episode we have a character or two that we bounce between as reference. Like this time, it's like Rob and Bowser Jr. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's kind yeah. Of funny. <laughs> we did a we did a lot of like, oh, it looks it's it's it looks a bit like Bowser Jr. Oh, the bond yeah. is a bit like Bowser Jr. Uh, the yeah. claws are a bit yeah. like Bowser Jr. Yeah, yeah. The, the rock is yeah. sort of like Samus. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's all the sci-fi elements coming together. Yeah, that's right. Making combined moves there. Yeah. But, yeah. Which, to be fair, is, is kind of is kind of how some of the actual DLC feels yeah, anyway. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's for sure. sure. Yeah, I mean, sure. most characters in Smash are based on existing characters. It's just easier that way. Yeah. yeah. So, exactly. <laughs> like, I didn't even realize until someone pointed out with with like, oh, Ganondorf has sword moves now. Cool. It's like, yeah, two of Ike's and one of Clouds. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, exactly. yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's only so much you can do when you got a roster of 70 plus characters. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame them. To have every move stand out. As long as all the move as long as the moveset is like 
when it's combined together as something different, I think it's all fine. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah yeah. 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 And it's better to have a move that's similar to someone else's than not have it and have it not make sense. <laughs> and you'll have people be like, why couldn't he do this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why couldn't he fire missiles? Why couldn't he fly like Rob's? Why is his thing recovery so pe- terrible? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Eggman's a good choice. The uh, the other one I spent a lot of time on was uh, I did a move set for, uh, for Porky in preparation today, just yeah. in case Eggman oh, yeah. okay, was I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Do you, do you, you want do me to that, give you a really quick rundown? Yes. Yeah, I mean, this was a pretty short episode, so why not? We okay. Yeah, yeah, just go, go. Throw, yeah man, All right. throw, throw in like, the honorable mention. All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. for, for the Porky moves that I came up with, uh, I mean, obviously, Porky is about the size of Ness. Uh, so with the mech, it's not too tall. Um, I'm using the spider mech from Earthbound. Um, so mm-hmm. the deal here is that it's wide and uh, the normal moves are pretty basic. They're mostly just based on spider like movements, kind of like when you're fighting the porky boss in Brawl. It's a lot of just stabbing and poking and this and that. But what makes it special is just how wide the attack is. Like imagine a neutral special where you're just like doing like a curvy spin with your claws out, but it's like super huge ranged, like a giant mm-hmm. shuriken spinning in the air. Um, so that's what makes the the normal moves special, even if they're if they're simpler. Is is it's a lot of you know poking and prodding from a long distance, just because of how wide the mech is. Um, so it's a heavyweight that's a little bit different, and then it's not tall; it's just wide. Uh, as for the <laughs> special moves, uh, here's what I came up with. I pulled in uh, a few different references. Neutral special is uh, based on um, uh, Porky's mech special ability from Earthbound. Uh, stinky gas and uh, the spider mech opens up its mouth and sprays out a stinky gas and the stinky gas is basically just a projectile version of uh, Mewtwo's down special doesn't last as long but it's a lot easier to pull off Okay. for side special I just called it uh, Porky Bomb um, and it's based off of his what did Porky do attack from Mother 3. Um, when he <laughs> yeah. does that attack in Mother 3, I mean, it takes the appearance of like shooting bombs like you normally would uh, in Mother 3, except there's like way more of them. So uh, animation wise, what I was thinking is uh, basically the spider mech goes up on its front legs and then starts shooting a bunch of bombs uh, out of its abdomen right in front of itself. So it's a super short range attack. You're basically just launching bombs in front of you, but it's rapid. Imagine Ivysaur's bullet seed, but instead of the shots going above you, they're going directly in front of you. And it's just a bunch of quick, weak uh, explosions, but they're rapid fire. They'll keep going as long as you have the B button held. Uh, Mm. Now in normal circumstances, it's not super useful because it is so short ranged. So if you're just in in a straight fight, I mean, all you're really doing is an alternative to just hitting the person. Uh, it's not even as long range as that because you're not using your long uh, uh, spider limbs. Uh, however, because they are projectile, it's a fantastic move you're, if you're standing at the edge of a ledge and just spraying down a rapid fire of bombs on anyone trying to get up. <laughs> the up special is called uh, Copter Escape, which is based on the scene from Earthbound where uh, Porky escapes from the Monotoli building. And here it is very, very K. Rule styled. Uh, just out of the top of the spider mech, two large uh, helicopter blades emerge and you fly upward. It, it's a little more helicopter-like here than K. Rules in that the ascension is way slower, but the blades are bigger, um, so you'll probably hit more people as you slowly ascend. The down special is called a uh, safe capsule. That's not the absolutely safe capsule. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beta <laughs> version a called the safe, safe capsule. capsule. <laughs> uh, and yeah, basically you just, the whole spider mech kind of closes and encapsulates on itself and it's an extra means of protection. Basically the way it works mechanically here is it's just straight up a second shield. So if your original shield wears out, now suddenly you have a second shield, so you can switch between your shield and your safe capsule. The difference is that the safe capsule drains a lot faster than the regular shield, but it is immune to all attacks. Yeah, attacks will wear it out, but you will take zero damage from a final smash, a little Matt KO punch. Grabs just kind of slide (laughs) off of it. 
so it, it is a safer option than your shield, but it drains much quicker. Uh, and then like a regular shield, you have to kind of wait for it to replenish. Uh, the final smash, I had a couple ideas and I was like, no way, I got to use this one. Final smash is Devil's Machine. <laughs> oh. Uh, Porky uh, undoes the Devil's Machine and the entire sky of whatever stage you're fighting on uh, becomes Gygus. Uh, oh, no. That's wow. terrifying. And then Gygus <laughs> unleashes uh, an unexplainable attack that uh, hits anybody who happens to be in range of it. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love that. I love the concept of changing the background. Yeah, that, no, it's actually yeah. smart. I like that. <laughs> so that's that was my Porky move set. Yay! Very good. Yay! Good bonus <laughs> nice. one. That's cool. A lot of po Porky's really popular. Yeah. So yeah. like a lot of people would really want Porky in for some re for whatever reason. Yeah. I mean, he's cool. Uh, hold on. Another... <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's he's cool. He'd be a cool mother character to be fair. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's just another mother yeah. character feels very <laughs> unnecessary. But you know what? The Smash doesn't care about that, does it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. In terms of spirits, it's like Porky and Silex, who I've always heard is like, where are they? Well, like, and then also, yeah. what's the other one? Uh, Adeline, Adeline, because they have Riven, yeah, I think, yeah. but no Adeline spirit. Yeah, that's true. They don't have an Adeline spirit. But they reckon I wonder. Yeah, it's because she came Star Allies. She was added before. She's added this. Wait, when was she added to Star Allies? Was it before or after Smash came out? It was after Both Star Smash. Allies and Smash released the same year. I know it was for sure after Smash. So. All right. I feel like if she was before Smash, she probably would have uh, got a spirit or something. Right. <laughs> I just wonder if they didn't have any good artwork of her or something. <laughs> you'd think you think sixty four would have some official art of each of the characters. I don't know. True. That's true. If they had some of Ribbon, then I suppose yeah. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, <laughs> getting off topic there. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a good one. I might not to go through the whole like a whole move set or anything, but to start talking about the like backups and the other options. Right. I was yeah. Looking at. My third uh, fallback, like I, I I figured Robobot was fairly possible for someone else to do, um, and then if somehow in some way somebody else did uh, the Cuphead move set. I was going to do, I, I, I really didn't want to do it because I was not sure if it counted as a mech, but I figured that the biggest thing about Star Fox is the ships uh... and the, the walker from Star Fox Zero slash, I guess, Star Fox 2, it was originally yeah. from, I think. Okay. The walker would be a way to <laughs> represent not only I figure you could have Slippy and Peppy as the two um, drivers, yeah, um, but have... Yeah the you know the r wing in the in the game in some way um where That's, where it kind like of fell, idea yeah where where it kind of fell apart for one it would be really tall but i think it would only be a little bit bigger than ridley to feel like okay and then where it fell apart is the specials were like pretty easy like b is the usual laser cannon Side B would be the charge shot, down B would be the bomb, and up B would be the hover. Where it fell apart after that was like the rest of the move set, um, like the ba <laughs> the the bar like there could be a barrel roll that could either be like a dash attack or that could be the side B instead. G just give it a kickboxing move set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then like the the grab I was gonna have be a tether grab with the direct eye, which is the little robot that was on the gyro wing. And the only other fun thing with that is. Uh, for the final smash, I was going to find some way to reincorporate or reference the Landmaster again and have that be not the same way it was in Brawl and Smash 4, but like maybe just like a one shot off off the stage or something like that. So that that was something I, I liked the idea of. But again, there's just like it, it didn't it, it just I wasn't sure if a, I wasn't sure like is a walker mech. And then, like, there's just, like, better, more fuller options. The all, all the other ones are either like things I haven't really played or their scaling issues. Like we mentioned Tron Bon, mm -hmm. have never played any game with her, so no idea. Um, yeah, Tron Bon was my sort of backup one, mm -hmm. uh, despite the scaling things. I probably, but I haven't actually played any game with her in it other than Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, right. same. Yeah. That's so all I could think of. Very heavily on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Damon X Machina, I mean, that's it's Nintendo's mm -hmm. mech game. But they're so mm -hmm. big that, like, I don't know how that would work. Yeah. I, right. I feel like, like, I definitely I thought about, oh, maybe I could do someone in a scale, but it's like, uh, maybe not. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought about Xenoblade as well, like, or yeah. Xeno Saga. I, I think that's the the big problem with a lot of them. Sakura Wars as well. It's technically a mech game. 
Uh, it's all yeah. just the, the mechs are too big to have the <laughs> characters be reasonably sized right. as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I kind of thought about Tinker Knight for a little bit, but then I'm like, mm. oh. Because <laughs> he gets in that mech thingy, but that mech thingy is very big. And he is very small, yes. so maybe it would. No, it's too big. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that. And I honestly, I could see. Um, I mean, we. I guess we. A little bit have that with like the Xenoblade stage uh, metal face. That's his name. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it, it yeah. is there. I feel like maybe we could see like assist trophies or maybe even a Damon X mock in his stage. It you know in this magical future where there is another Smash. Right. Um, <laughs> but I, I feel like we could see that faster than we could see like a really big mech character like a, a Damon X mock in his mech. Yeah, I, I think it works better in 2D fighters where they can get away with having really big sizes because right. they're on the same plane. Yeah. But in one that's primarily about platforming and getting back that's on. That's right. Marvel vs. Capcom, they got they got like Sentinel, Tatsunoku's got like some big mechs in there. Yeah, it's got uh, Tatsunoku's got the one from Lost Planet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and they also yeah. have the um, uh, Gold Light Hand, which I guess is not oh, really yeah. a mech, got... but. <laughs> it's still big. But yeah, I, I guess with Smash, the issue is like. How do you scale? Like not not just a sense of scale, but if you were to have a really big one, it's like how you're going over in your cup, the Cuphead, um, the Doctor mm -hmm. Carl. I can't, I can't remember his name now. Doctor Cal. <laughs> Doctor yes. Carl's robot. Yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, him being really big. What uh, is that a good thing or is that a drawback? Like he, he'd yeah. be strong, but if his, his like hits are so wide arching or whatever, would they even hit anyone? Yeah. <laughs> They're close <laughs> enough. And then their recovery would either be too ridiculous because they'd be, they'd get up in like two jumps, or would have to be nerfed all the way down. <laughs> yeah, which might not work as much. I think that's the problem facing basically every mech character, unless right. it's it, unless it's like Doctor Carl's third form or Eggman, where it's very small, something Bowser Junior esque, exactly Sorry, with a yeah. mech, mech like what I had in with Susie. <laughs> yeah. So then the other two options, um, one. I mean, I, I was considering Eggman more so, but I also was considering Tails because he does have like mechs and a bunch yeah, of different right. tech. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, again, that was more just like a lack of me really knowing, and I didn't want to just like make some crap move set. Um, mm -hmm. And then my the only other one is I considered cheating and just like doing a more fleshed out diva, but I already did it, so I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> um, and then I was, and then the other, obviously, there's another mech character, which is Wrecking Ball slash um, um, Hammond. Hammond. Um, and I considered him, but I haven't played Overwatch. I don't think I've played Overwatch since they had it. Him. Um, You're not missing so, much. <laughs> well, yeah, um, but so since I didn't have that kind of hands-on experience, I figured I I wouldn't um, worry about that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that that was kind of who who all was on my radar. And like I said, there's just so many other mech games where I didn't know enough, and it seemed like the scaling would just be impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And any other like uh, as no, backup plan slash. My yeah. other backup was somewhat of a cop out. It was uh. Sukapon. I was like, well, the game is called Joy Mech Fight, <laughs> so Fighters. he must be a mech. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I had, um, uh, I did think of Harry from Teller Boxer, which is like a virtual I thought about boy that. game because it's <laughs> technically a guy in like a VR thing controlling the robot from ah, a distance. So he's technically piloting the robot, and the robot would be the right size, but. <laughs> He's well, see, that's why itself. I was <laughs> one, one of my first thoughts was custom Robo. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I was like, "That's there's no way that's counting as a mech." Like, yeah, they're, they're just willing to they're, count it. I don't know. They're <laughs> robots. I think mechs imply that someone's piloting them. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, of, someone's it's... remotely piloting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was kind of happy that this theme was one of the only themes where a Pokemon doesn't really apply. Like, normally, one of my first things is like, oh, there's probably a Pokemon for this, but they, there's not really a Pokemon you pilot. Like, you can tr you tell them what yeah, to do, yeah. but you don't, like, ride them into battle. I'm so, trying to think yeah. of a counterexample now. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, Cole oh, like... controls his own mother. By yeah, riding in the pouch. <laughs> I mean... Uh, maybe I was because at first I was like, oh, like Golurk, but like he's not even a robot and no one's controlling him. He's yeah. just him. Like just because he's big doesn't mean he's a mech. So no. But, We're gonna uh, see like the the next wave of like short Sword and Shield DLC. There's gonna be a mech. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it right now. <laughs> 
It's gonna be it's gonna be a giant knight with a sword, and it's gonna be a mech or something. That's, that's <laughs> there you go. Oh, the other, the only other, like the final consideration I I thought of for two seconds was uh, there's the Abe Lincoln mech in oh, Codename oh, Steam, Steam. Oh, Steam. Oh, 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 and, and oh, I'm re man. I'm replaying. <laughs> I'm replaying that right now, and I was like, again, it doesn't make any sense for scale, doesn't really have enough moves, still hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I, can't well, imagine. I think that's it then. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That, that it's a good a good spread of characters. I think, like, I, I can visualize the, the Robobot the most, I could see Eggman being, like, the, the best addition to the Smash roster, and then I think, like, the Titanfall and the Dr. Cow would both be, like, really... Uh, like pushing the limits of like what Smash can, what Smash fighters can do. So I, I think it's a good, a good group. Yeah. To wrap it up, uh, I guess same order that we talked about our our characters in. If you want to do your social medias and plugs yeah. and such, so Nanten. Well, if, uh, people can find me at Mister Nintendo or at All Source Gaming. Uh, those are the two Twitter plugs. We got the Discord. We got the channel Source Gaming. That's the YouTube. Go subscribe. Do all that. It's primarily it's. Mainly a lot of a lot of it smash focus. I don't want to say it's primarily smash focus, but a lot of it is uh, We've got some cool stuff coming up. We're still sort of we did a big charity stream and We're still taking elements from that yeah. and slowly uploading them yeah. piecemeal that was fun. Uh, We just put out an analysis for that Shin Megami Tensei 5 trailer that dropped So mm. if you haven't seen if you if you're more curious about the Shin Megami Tensei stuff go see Shadow Link's video on that That's the one I'm recommending for this um, well, I'm PK King, or I guess technically PK underscore King. I still hate that that's a thing, but whatever. You can find me on YouTube, <laughs> on Twitter. Um, I draw, I made all these little icons, I animate, I mod for Rivals of Aether. If you're into that stuff, so come say hi, and if you're not, say hi anyway. Um, yeah. Room, room, room. Oh, sorry, my, my Discord cut out a little bit. I'm here now. All I heard was, if you're interested, come say hi. If you're not... I'll take that. <laughs> um, so I, I'm here uh, doing my usual. I'm starting. I, I took a little break from like my my recurring series is the four minute four reviews and Smash move sets and stuff. But I'll be coming back with that in like a week or two. And, and also with this, I, I assume by, um, well, a week or two from now, by this point, there probably would have been a couple of videos and then this will have come out. <laughs> um, other than that, I put up some acoustic demos. Uh, They're so good! PK has been enjoying it. I ran an online Smash tourney. I might do another one of them sometime soon. Not too soon, but... And other other than that, yeah, if you know you're already here watching this, so uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. And uh, Pizza Dude, I'm Pizza Dude Man Guy. There you go. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Got it. That's, that's all you need to know. That's all you need. That's all you need to know. That's all you need. It's too much already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouthful oh. of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you guys for for coming back for another episode. Yeah, you Yay. bet. Move sets. Yeah, no problem. And I will see everyone next time. So see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.